Hello, this is MakerJ101, and we have a big package sitting here in the garage. These are solar panels. This is three kilowatts worth of style on solar panels. Um, so we just bought these off eBay. So um, and they just they had um, they just got in the other day. I actually made a video the other day, but um, it turned out really bad. I made a lot of mistakes in it, so I'm redoing it today. Um, but it took only two days to ship, um, so that's really nice. I believe we, today's Friday, and we ordered it Sunday, and it got in Wednesday. It arrived Wednesday, so it was freight shipping, so it came on a truck. Um, but here's the specs of it, and these are the Stion um, STN120, um, so they're the 120 watt model. Um, but you can buy these on eBay, they were really, really cheap, um, approximately including shipping for what we paid for these um, it was let's see nineteen hundred dollars including shipping um, so well actually the guy was selling them for eighteen hundred um, so either best offer or um, bid and we did the highest bid and we got um, them for sixteen fifty so and then shipping was another two, two or three hundred dollars. I forget, but um, something like that. <clears throat> so really good deal on them, and um, so that brings the for including shipping that brings these to sixty three cents per watt, which is actually really cheap. Um, <clears throat> so so yeah, now these these panels are fifty five volt um, open circuit voltage, but the loaded voltage is. Um, 42.7 so pretty high voltage of these actually um, and then the current is 3 amps so and these still have the um, warranty on them and everything like that so <clears throat> but the guy on the why they were selling these for so cheap so this guy I believe he bought them off of Stion um, for really cheap because Stion no longer makes the 120 um, watt model for this for this size they've gone up to a much higher efficiency and they have I believe 150 or 160 is their um, the one that they they actually build now so these are pretty much obsolete for their company they're still brand new um, and they are still under warranty but it's just that they don't make them anymore so this guy probably bought them off of the company um, for really cheap and He's selling them on eBay. So the guy's name is on eBay. His name is um, Fred uh, 480V, I believe. Um, but the easier way to find it is just search Stion Solar Panel on eBay, and you should find it. Um, I don't know how much longer these will be around. I think he has quite a few. And he's selling a bunch of other things, too. But um, the Stion ones seem to be the best deal, and it seems like a lot of people like them. So... So yeah, um, so yeah, it has a 25-year warranty, um, so, yeah, but, um, <clears throat> so it has the, I believe these are MC4 connectors, and they are supposed to be really nice to just connect them together, they're waterproof and everything, and this whole panel is rated up to 600 volts DC, so you can connect up to, it's either, um, 9 or 10 of them in series, because some inverters will take 600 volts. Um, so I guess I'll talk about inverters a little bit. So the inverter I think we're going to go with is the Sunny Boy, um, or the SMA Sunny Boy um, 3000 TL. That's the transformerless model, the 3000 watt model. And we mainly are going to go with that because the input voltage is rated at 600 volts. So where it's like 150 to 600 volts DC. So that means that if we have 600 volts coming off the roof, there's very, very, very little um, losses in wiring. So you can have small wires like this, and it's not going to have much loss. But if you connect them, if you went with something else like an outback inverter, um, which uses 48 volts, um, you'd have to connect these all in parallel, and 25 of these. Um, at 3 amps, that's going to be a lot of current, and you'd have to have big wires to handle all that current, and you'd have a lot of loss. So, so we want the high voltage, 
um, DC, and then the also with the tr transformerless model um, of the SMA inverters, the there's actually an emergency. So it's a grid tie inverter, um, but it also has an emergency feature where it has a special outlet that comes off of it separately. That if the grid is down, you can turn that outlet on and it will supply up to 1,500 watts to that outlet. So that's pretty nice. Um, it also comes with a DC disconnect. Um, we are actually going to have to get an AC disconnect also because our power company requires us to have a AC disconnect on the outside of the house that they can access. So we're going to have to get that too. Um, we're still looking into... So we, have, I, we haven't bought the inverter yet. We still need to do that. And um, we're still trying to figure out um, what kind of... Um, or we're still trying to figure out where to buy the... Uh, um, the unirack or whatever it's called for the um, to mount these on because it's it's like a track that and there's special brackets and everything that hold these all on the roof um, so we still need to buy that um, but the solar panels are in so that's the main thing and I tested one of them out the other day and it works perfectly so that's good um, what else so so normally I would not ever think that we would ever put a solar panel in system in, um, because mainly because I just don't think of them as being very cost effective as or uh, being a very good investment. I usually think of them never really paying for themselves. It'd take like 20 years for them to pay for this, pay for themselves. But me and my dad have done the calculations, and we have figured out even in Pennsylvania where we get a lot of cloudy weather. It's not too cloudy today. Um, so we really don't, don't get that many sunny days out of the year. Um, we actually still figured out that because we're able to get the panels for so cheap, it's actually quite worth it. So we took into um, consideration everything, the inverter, um, everything like that. Although we didn't, I don't believe we took into the, um, the tax breaks you get. They will actually, the government will actually um, pay for 30% of the installation costs or something like that in tax breaks so that will actually we did not take into consideration that and when we don't take into consideration that and we actually um, assumed that we were going to buy a one thousand dollar inverter but we're actually going to need to buy a one thousand five hundred watt in, or dollar inverter um, we estimated to be about a five to six year payback period so with a uh, one thousand five hundred um, dollar inverter it may be more like a um, seven year pay payback period which is actually really good for solar um, if you were having an installer a professional installer install a solar system it's really not practical at all because of all of the um, the labor fees and all that so but we're pretty much going to do it all ourselves so and buying cheap panels like this um, so it will cut the cost down a lot and make it so that they're actually quite worth it so, um, so, hmm, let's see what else. Um, yeah, these are just basically lower efficiency panels. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them at all. They still are perfectly good. Um, and, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's about it, um, with the solar panels. So, well, I guess I'll be making another video when we get in some more things, like the inverter, or maybe I'll test them out somehow, or something like that. Um, but, yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.